Okay, my last question is, earlier on in your presentation, you showed a picture of exterminated Jews at a concentration camp, correct? Yes. And you said that these bodies essentially were proof of the existence of a god, correct? No, no, no. Well, what not I... proof, but what I'm trying to say is people would see these bodies and think that there's probably a god. No, 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 no. The argument was that a holocaust is objectively wrong. Well, and if something's objectively wrong, there must be something that's objectively right. How is it objectively wrong, though? Because the people who were committing it thought that what they were doing was right. Oh, people think all sorts of different things about right and wrong. That's not the point. The point is, if there's one thing morally wrong, then God exists. Just one. Well, if it's wrong to torture babies for fun or murder Jews in a holocaust. Well, that, co that completely is dependent upon a person's view on torturing Jews or murdering babies. But the thing is that we as humans, we have empathy in us probably because it's designed to preserve our species. We don't have empathy necessarily because some God gave it to us. We have empathy so that we can preserve our own race. Okay, but here's the problem. It's, it's a good question. It's kind of related to what, um, to what Will had said. So let me, let me answer it in a little bit more detail, and then we'll get to some other, other questions. Because the question is, can evolution explain morality? That's really the question that you're, you're saying, well, we got this empathy here, and that ought to explain it. First of all, moral laws are not chemical or biological. They're immaterial and they come from personal agents. If there's no God, there's no such thing as a law. There just is chemicals. There just are biological entities. Secondly, chemistry and biology are descriptive, not prescriptive. Evolution describes what does survive, not what ought to survive. Why should humans survive? That would be speciesism. We just say, well, we humans, we ought to survive. Why? Opposable if there's no thumbs. God. What's that? Opposable thumbs. We're what? able to grasp Yeah, but things. Why? What, what's, what? Because that's what we need to survive and cope. No, no, I know, but why should we survive as opposed to any other species? Survival of the fittest. Right, that's exactly what Hitler believed in. And that's why he was trying to get rid of the unfit, because the unfit were taking resources from the fit. And so he wanted to create the super race. The question is, should he have done that? He's just following. In fact, if you read Mein Kampf, which was Hitler's book, his 1933 book, what he does is he quotes from Darwin. And he says, if the weaker race does not want to survive, and they, or if, if the weaker race does not want to fight, they have no right to survive. Also, should we rape to survive? I mean, if survival is our goal, maybe we ought to rape then, because we can propagate our DNA by raping, can't we? Yes, essentially, but we don't need to rape people when we have the ability to consent. That's true, but what the, the point here is, is consent, there's no reason to consent if there's no moral law, you can just rape and survive that way. You don't need consent. Also, should we murder the weak to help others to survive? That's Hitler's point. And by the way, since evolution is a process of change, then morals must change. Rape may one day be considered good. I mean, if, if we're always in flux here, then one day we're going to say rape is good. Finally, why cooperate when not cooperating often helps you survive? Will made this point earlier when he's saying, look, you know, if I show empathy to you, you'll show empathy to me. Well, that's not even true. Stalin didn't show empathy to anybody except his inner circle, and he died on his deathbed after killing 20 million of his own countrymen, shaking his fist at God one last time. So you don't have to cooperate to get along. In fact, quite often you can get ahead by not cooperating. What's that? No, it's much easier to be selfish than it is to be selfless. Much easier. If you don't think so, go to... I hate to say this. I'm going to say it anyway. Go into any corporate boardroom. Go into any... On, on, not any, but many elder boards. If you don't think there's politics where people are jockeying to try and get their own way, you haven't lived very long. Good questions, though.